Full out free. People like to shit on this one because New Vegas was way cooler with better characters and better writing and actual consequences for your decisions and just way more interesting factions and it just had a lot more soul and... Uh, what was I saying? And so it's easy to hear that and think that this one isn't worth your time. But this game can be pretty fun too, especially if you're playing it for the first time. The best thing about this game by far, everyone knows it, is the atmosphere. This game has easily the best atmosphere of all the 3D fallouts. Now there is only three of them, but it's still the best one. There's a lot to like about this game and also a lot to not like about this game. For an example, the combat aged fucking terribly, which isn't great because it wasn't good when it came out. Another example would be 3Dog. I can't fucking stand 3Dog. I think he's so fucking annoying, howling and shit. Shut the fuck up. Which is funny because he's dedicated his entire radio show just to talking about me specifically and my life and what I get up to in the wasteland. Power to the people. So I generally play with the radio off, which is way more immersive. They put a ton of effort into the ambient music, but nobody ever even fucking listens to it. Imagine if Skyrim had a radio so nobody ever noticed the music that was actually designed for the game. Yeah, the music is scary, but it's meant to be a scary wasteland. That constant sense of unease makes it so that when you finally meet someone who isn't just immediately shooting at you, it means way more to you. And I'm not crediting Bethesda for this, by the way. This existed in Fallout 1. If anything, Bethesda should get shit for adding a radio in the first place. But you can't say the songs are bad. The songs are pretty good. That is the most feral ghoul I have ever seen. The moral decisions in these games are always a choice between be a good person, be a normal person, or be a giant fucking dick for no reason. Be a terrorist for no reason. How are those hot little potatoes? Why would you blow up our town? You're talking crazy talk. Well, okay, as long as you're sorry. Some of the DLCs are quite interesting, but the problem is that they took the worst aspect of the game, which in my opinion would be the combat, and they made all the DLCs focus heavily on that aspect. Is he in there? There he is. Dog me what? Looting through abandoned places can be really creepy. Some of those places are very fucking cool. But the loot itself you don't really care about. You tend to just end up rich as fuck without even trying. There's one quest where you go to a vault and it's full of super mutants. And that vault has the best atmosphere in the entire game, I think. The subways are really horrible. Um, they do have like a decent atmosphere, but it's mostly just because they're confusing as fuck. And don't call me stupid for thinking they're confusing, because even the fucking sat-nav in-game, it gets confused. When you go to DC, when you go to the capital, the Pip-Boy has no fucking idea what it's doing. And as a result, neither do you. Why are they shooting the dog and not the big guy? Why is he shooting the dog? Oh sh- Oh his head's gone! Yeah, back to your fucking cage. New Vegas is more focused on gameplay and your actions. Here is the world, here are the factions, be who you want to be. 3 is more focused on telling this one specific story. Here's the story that we want to tell. You are this specific person that we have crafted for you. Liam Neeson is your father. But what if I pick a black character? Listen, not a problem. We at Bethesda, we've solved it. We've got a genius solution for that one. The problem with focusing more on the story is that Bethesda writing tends to be a bit of a mess. The way you have to look at Bethesda writing is that if a kid came up to you and wrote a little story for you, you wouldn't analyze it and say, well, that's a plot hole, that doesn't make sense. You know, you wouldn't do that. You would just say, yeah, that's a great story, bud, and you'd leave it there. That's the treatment you have to give Bethesda games. Yeah, that's a fantastic story. I'm not going to think about it anymore. I'm just going to leave it there. 